Hello everybody, welcome back to Throttle Grotto. This week I'm going to show you how to fix the temperature gauge and the fuel gauge uh, with a very inexpensive part that I got off of Amazon. <laughs> Everybody. So I'm back from Overcrest Rally and getting caught up a little bit in the garage, uh, but I wanted to show you guys what I did before I left on the trip uh, to get the fuel gauge and the temperature gauge working. So there's a very small part that failed, and it's one of these little voltage regulators here, and I'll show you guys right here what that looks like. And it mounts up underneath the dash. So let's take a look and see where... Alright, so normally it would be mounted... Let's see if I can make the light actually work for me here. So normally we mounted where that screw is, and then you have two wires that come off of it. In this car, it's a red and white or red and yellow wire and this black one. And so I basically ended up wiring in this little silver box here, and it's called a buck boost. I don't know why it's called a buck boost because it costs more than a dollar. <laughs> um, but it's very simple to wire in. As you can see from the photo, there's basically 12 volt in and then a, a, a voltage out. And then there's a potentiometer uh, that you can adjust to set the voltage. Uh, so it's very easy to install. I basically wired the yellow wire that goes back to the gauges here to the, uh, to the output. And then on the input side, I wired the black wire, which is here, and the ground wire, which I just put into the screw that goes to the factory location, and then use the potentiometer to set the gauge level. All right, so as you can see, turn the key on. There we go. Wait a moment, there goes the fuel gauge. And I know the tank's full because I've filled it before I parked the car. So it takes a little while to swing all the way up to the top. But there we go. She's a little stubborn in getting there, but she gets there. So it turned out it was actually pretty accurate, set up to about 9 volts. Uh, a lot of guys online have said between eight or nine volts is the setting that works best for these. So I would suggest just get your fuel tank to a known quantity, preferably full, <laughs> and then set your, your buck boost module uh, with the potentiometer to the right, you know, the right voltage that gets you at the right point on the gauge. And it's really that simple. Um, this was a, I think a $13 module. So to be honest, I did have to buy two of them on, on Amazon. Uh, the first one I bought, uh, the, it would adjust the voltage, but it would either go from 12 to zero. So it just would not adjust in a finer range. Um, but this one, uh, so buy two and then send them back. <laughs> um, but this one worked great for the whole trip. Uh, no issues, like it was really nice to have a working fuel gauge and a temp gauge because that let me know when I blew the head gasket. <laughs> uh, but I'll cover that in another video. So that's how you can replace your Datsun voltage regulator for your gauges with an aftermarket one. And uh, hopefully this helps you guys get a few more things working on your Datsun. So that's all for today from Throttle Grotto. Until next time, get out there and work on something. <laughs>